Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a Sunday late-ish evening episode of Ted's Boo Salo with me, your most gracious host, Ted. It is currently 1 minute to 8 on the 12th of July 2020 and we are rounding off this weekend of German imported beers with another interesting little number from Hackup Shore, the southern Bavarian brewery who have been around, as far as I can tell, since 1417. Now, we took a look at their Weiss beer, and we also took a look at their Keller beer yesterday. Now, today we're taking a look at somewhat of a more modern contemporary sort of beer that they are, have explored into, which is their Munich Gold, or Munchner Gold. Now, this was slightly more expensive than the other ones from the Wine Barrel on um, Western Road in Hove. This was 3.49, but it is the same strength as the other two, so this is 5.5% and it's got a bit more description here on the back it says it's brewed in accordance with the bavarian purity law of 1516 so this is brewed to the basis of conventions and brewing obligations that have been around for over a half a millennia so i am hoping that this is brewed in all good faith and expertise but then again knowing the germans and their expertise in beer i don't think i need to worry too much about that now, I've got to say, I do love the design of the label and the colour of it, so I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. It's regal, it's classy, and it's very Bavarian. So, 10 out of 10 for that. Uh, so, as always, let's pop open this little pop cap uh, lid and see what it smells like. So, Okay, so I can immediately get like a crisp, clear, lagery smell like we did with the Keller beer yesterday. And then it's also got a bit of Bavarian wheaty haziness like I did with the Weiss beer on Friday. So I'll give it like a, a 7.5 out of 10 for the smell. It smells nice, but it's just not like the strongest smell either, which I guess is probably a good thing. I just was like wishing for like probably like a slightly sweeter more hazy wheat sort of smell but then again like the lack of that isn't necessarily a bad thing it's probably quite good that this is got quite a neutral smell and I don't know, yeah no it smells nice so 7.5 out of 10 for the smell but first a quick palate cleanser of water and then on to the taste so to Hacker Pshaw, thank you for providing me with the material for this weekend's worth of Ted's Boo Cellar episode. And let's see what Munchner Gold actually tastes like. Mm. Mm. Yeah, this is probably closer to the Keller beer we had yesterday than the uh, Hackbshaw Weiss beer. This is um, this is really good. This is like a golden lager. It's got like a really light crisp taste that reminds me, weirdly enough, of Mythos. This kind of feels like a mix between a Eastern Mediterranean light crispy beer, like something you know, like Mythos or uh, Efes, and a cross between like something like that. And then something slightly hazier and sweeter, like a southern Bavarian wheat beer. So, no, this is really nice. Mm. Yeah, it's got that light, crisp, lagery taste. And then, like, there is that, un you know, that, there is that sort of, like, filtered sort of sweetness. But it's only in, like, finish. So it doesn't, like, overpower the, the overall taste of the beer too much. Um... And again, like the other two Hackershaw beers, it's very well smoothly brewed and it has like a smooth texture throughout, which really helps with the flavour going down. So I, I really, really like this. I would be more than happy to go out of my way to get some more of this for myself again in the future. I feel like uh, this one has got a similar taste to the Keller beer from yesterday. But it's got a bit more of a distinctive and unique taste. And it's also got just as smooth and palatable a texture as the Vice Beer on Friday. So I'm struggling where to put it, but I do want to rate it highly. Um, I 
think like a I think like an 8.5 out of 10. It's only just about reaching the elite category, and there is just something about it that I wish was slightly more distinctive, but still, like, to be fair, overall, this is one of the best German beers I've ever had, um, and I would thoroughly recommend it. This is a really, really good beer. Um, perhaps if I review it again some point in the future, I might rate it higher, but I just feel right now, as I am, that 8.5 is probably appropriate. But no, thoroughly well recommended. Happy to pay the price that I paid for it. Uh, I will be getting more of these for myself in the future. And I would recommend this not just to alcohol drinkers, but, well, all alcohol drinkers in general, really. This is a very nice, relaxing German wheat beer. So, very, very, very well done, Hack of Shaw. You've impressed me all three days of this weekend with your most excellent produce. But, if you guys did like this video... Leave a like, share and subscribe and I urge you to check out Hack Up Ashore and all their products and their website. And if you want to check out any of the other online activities I do, then I'll leave the links to my social medias and other YouTube channels in the video description below. And if you want to suggest anything else for future episodes of Tez Boo Seller, then leave your suggestions in the comments section below along with any particular agreements or disagreements you had to specific points in this video. But, as always, I have been Ted. Have fun, stay safe with whatever you're doing, drink responsibly, know your limits, wash your hands, take a mask with you when you go to the shops, and I'll see you guys at the bar next time on Ted's Booze Cellar. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs>